Are you diving into Android architecture and feeling a bit overwhelmed? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle how to update live data of a view model from a background service and update the UI seamlessly. I totally get it. Understanding how to manage data in Android can be tricky, especially when you're trying to fetch data asynchronously and keep your UI updated. It's a common challenge for many developers. Here's the situation we're addressing. One user asked how to fetch data from a database, make an API call if needed, and then update the UI using live data. Sound familiar? Let's break it down step by step. So, what's the best approach? You want to start by checking your local database for data. If it's not there, then you can make an API call to fetch it. Once you have the data, you can update your mutable live data and notify the UI. Stay with me. I have a crucial tip at the end that will help you manage your live data updates more effectively. To update the live data from a background service, the user should first create a service that fetches the data. This service will be responsible for making the API call and updating the database. Next, the user should use a method to update the mutable live data in the view model from the service. This can be achieved by creating a callback interface that the service can use to communicate back to the view model. Then, the user should implement this callback in the view model. When the service fetches the data, it will call this method to update the mutable live data. Finally, the user should start the service from the view model or activity and pass the callback instance to it. This way, when the data is fetched, the service can notify the view model to update the UI. Fun fact, did you know that Android's architecture components were designed to help developers manage UI-related data in a lifecycle-conscious way? It's like having a personal assistant for your app's data. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user suggests referring to the Android Architecture Guide, which provides in-depth solutions for managing data with live data and view model. They recommend using a repository module along with Retrofit instead of a service for fetching data. That's all on that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach involves using a repository pattern to handle API calls. In the repository, you create a mutable live data object that will hold the response from the API. When the API call is successful, you post the response to this mutable live data which will then update the UI through the view model. In the view model, you can call this repository method to get the live data. Then, in your activity or fragment, observe this live data to update the UI based on the response. Here's that crucial tip I promised. Always ensure your live data is observed in the right lifecycle state to avoid memory leaks and crashes. This will keep your app running smoothly. And there you have it. You now know how to update live data from a background service and keep your UI updated. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks on Android development.